It's John in Thailand. And I'm covered up because it's bloody hot and sunny and I burn. So, yeah, I'm out of granny block. You've probably heard me mention granny block before. Not much. Just have to hang on for a second. Not much land. It's only basically a house block. We've got some beaches down the back. Got a pile of off-cuts there to, to burn. And we've got the three moringas at the front and one down the back. Uh, not doing as well as I'd hoped. Uh, two there. Mm, hacked them pretty hard last year. This one, they got hacked pretty hard. I, uh, well, actually, there's a tree there that's not a moringa. So when you see the three there, the two on the left are moringa, and the one on the right, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, this one definitely moringa, and the one down the back is moringa. So we have a we have a uh, a number of pods, seed pods on the on the one here. It looks it looks good, but as you get closer, you see it's sort of not as healthy as what it should be. You know, some yellowing leaves and. Uh, Seed pods are pretty small, I don't know, maybe they'll grow. I'm just thinking, uh, I've got a water tank over there, maybe I might just put some water on them before I go home. Uh, might help, because I haven't had any water for uh, a few weeks, last time it rained, and uh, I have to, uh, I have to uh, think about some sort of fertilizer too, maybe to help them along. Uh, Got to be careful because they're not far off reaching the power lines, and the power company will come along and just hack the crap out of them when I'm not around to supervise. So I'm not sure what we're going to do there. Uh, might have to cut them right back after the seed pods are picked, like we did last year, except more carefully this year. <laughs> All right, then. Well, listen, I'm going to go. There's a hose here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I see it down there. This is our little pump shed. We've got two uh, 2,000 litre water tanks in there, plus plenty of room for other things. Uh, not sure the amount of litres we have here, but that's just roof runoff. Uh, I might have some water in them. Oh, yeah. Pretty disgusting looking water. <laughs> the other one's got water in it too, which looks just as bad. Oh, I'm guessing maybe... 800 to 900 litres, a bit hard to tell, I'd have to take the measurements of each of the tanks and then work it out on my calculator, but anyway, enough is enough, I've got things to do and one of those is bring the slasher down and slash all these weeds, retrieve the blue drum down there and I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that other small tank down there, um, before we run a pipe down the back, which goes most of the way down, and then we've got a hose we can connect to the blue drum. I put a I put a hose from here down to there, from the tank inside, or one of the tanks inside, and filled up that other smaller, maybe 250 litre tank down there. It's an open top thing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for today. No worries, folks. Have a good day. Bye.